My name is Madison and I am a small business owner. I was using Cisco WebEx and I switched over to, to Google Me. For more reviews, click below. The business problems that both of these platforms solve um, really is just connecting teams um, that are remote in my area of business. Um, ever since um, March 2020, we've all been sort of working super flexibly and um, from different parts of not only the country, but the world. Um, so it's been really helpful to have platforms like this so that we can meet and actually see each other and be able to sort of sim simultaneously work from our computers while we're, um, you know, meeting with each other online. Um, and also it's helped uh, connect with other businesses that normally we might not find the time to connect with because um, it's a lot more time intensive to go to a physical meeting or travel to um, meet with other folks in other parts of the world. So it's been very helpful in that regard as well. Google Meet is best for not only working um, and setting up meetings quickly or recurring meetings with your own internal team, but I find it really helpful because it's essentially a built-in conference line um, for um, anyone that I need to have either a phone call with or um, a visual video meeting, um, and you can you know, transfer that to any part of the world, any time zone. Um, it's really with one click that I can just create an event in my Google Calendar and select the option to add on um, a Google Meet conference link, whether that's, <clears throat> whether that's video conferencing or just phone. Um, it's super, super easy to just, with one click of the button, get started and automatically be in a caller meeting. Cisco WebEx is really great for um, more so conferences, I would say, virtual conferences or larger scale meetings where you have a lot of different folks um, coming into one meeting. Maybe there's different elements um, of that meeting. So it's not just kind of like a standard um, person to person or group conference call or conference video. Um, Whereas it's it's more um, better suited for if you have different presentations going on and you want to have that like live chat happening um, during that presentation and um, there's a there's a bit more um, detail and nuance involved I would say with Cisco WebEx where you can kind of adjust you know who's being seen on camera who's not if somebody's presenting um, if there's a panel going on that's definitely what I would say Cisco WebEx is best for it was super super easy to get started using Google Meet um, just because our business already does use the Google uh, business suite of services so um, we're already using Gmail and Google Calendar and um, Google Drive and all those features so it's really intuitive for us to just you know streamline and go ahead and use use Google Meet for all of the video conferencing or phone conferencing needs that we have that we're initiating on our end um, and really there it's it's very intuitive. Um, there's not really much that you have to do to learn how to use it. Um, everything is pretty simplified and just fully integrated into um, all of the tools that you're already using, especially if you're familiar with Google products. Um, Cisco WebEx was a little bit more um, involved in terms of learning the platform and, and, and understanding the nuances of how it works. Um, I definitely needed to have a bit of training to figure out exactly how I would use that. Um, and there's a lot of really great comprehensive tools within that product, but it's, it definitely gives more control to the users and the people that are in the meeting. And there's a lot more that you can do, which also comes with it um, a bit more background that you need to successfully get started. I would say the top considerations for myself as a business owner, small business owner, when looking for this type of software um, really is price point is always a factor, of course. Um, but also just ease of use because um, things change so rapidly in our industry, but also in pretty much all industries right now with um, there being, you know, a lot of changes in internal staff and, you know, needing to have 
um, an onboarding process that is simple and easy to grasp quickly so that your team members can jump right in. Um, and I would also say, because we use this, you know, these types of platforms a lot with external folks. So clients and, um, different vendors we're working with, it's really important that ease of use is like a top priority for us just so that, um, we can make sure that we're able to clearly communicate. Um, and that lends me to the third priority I would say, which is, um, connection um, and making sure that it actually runs smoothly once you're in that meeting um, because nothing is more frustrating than when you're on a call or trying to connect with folks about something urgent or something, you know, uh, you're doing creative work and you can't quite see or hear each other. So I would say that that is the third uh, consideration.